<laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna make a tripod. Hang around. Tick, 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 boom. <sighs> All right guys, so we're gonna take a little jaunt down here. We're gonna find a couple of trees that we can make some tripods out of. Alright guys, so we have cut down our three trees. Now three trees doesn't equate to one tripod. Hopefully three trees equates to two tripods. There's a purpose for me having these. And I'm gonna let you know what that is in a few minutes. But let me break out my saw again. And let's get these things cut. And I'm trying to make them about the same height and size. So Whatever that is, I want to make sure that I do the same on this one. And if I can get another length out of the same tree, I'm going to do the same thing there. Um, and it just kind of makes building a little bit easier. All right guys, so here's what we got. We got three sticks that are about, uh, about an inch across. And I've got, they're about uh, six feet long. And then my string, I've got number 36, tarred bank line. And I got, it's about six feet long. It's uh, got a bowling knot at that end and a bowling knot at this end. So how I start it is I just take the bowling and loop it around that far stick. Now this is pretty important here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna try to keep these as tight as possible and as neat as possible. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna do what they call wrapping. So you got wraps and you got fraps. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna wrap. And I'm not talking like LL Cool J or m and M. I'm talking we're doing some bushcraft wrapping. Always want to make sure they're nice and tight and keep them dressed and nice and neat. Anytime that you can keep something nice and neat, it just makes it easier to deal with. Okay, so I've gone around now that's three times. One, two, three cords up on top. Now in here in the gaps, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do wraps, or I'm sorry, fraps. And what that does is tightens things up. I'm talking fraps, I'm not talking frappe, we're not making some mocha chino, something like that, go to Starbucks for that crap. Again, nice and tight and keep them, keep them dressed as much as you possibly can. We're gonna come down through here. If you gotta move the sticks a little bit to get them, keep them nice and tight, then you gotta move the sticks a little bit to keep them nice and tight. But that's number two. And finally, we're going number three. Okay, so that's number three. Now we've got that one frapped. We're going to move on to the next one and frap it. And that's number three, right there. Now, we're just gonna take this bugger, stand it up. There you 
there you have it guys an easy way to make a tripod and if you're asking what the bowline is down here well that's so you can take and hang a pot from if you have this over a fire uh, you can actually make a trammel system out of this and uh, have different lengths uh, you can actually hike, um, create a couple wide branches that are opposed to each other and use that to hang your pots from uh, in any case this is one reason that you can have a tripod let's go over a few more all right guys so what else can we use this for besides a kitchen well there's a couple different things when you have a piece of technology like this and yes i said technology because technology doesn't mean fancy schmancy cell phones smartphones uh, ipads ipods and all those other things this is technology also this is bushcrafting technology you can build shelters with it uh, you can build different kitchens with it. you can build furniture with this thing um, chairs corporal kelly has an awesome shelter that he has on his websites and his uh his youtube page where he uses uh the nice big 55 gallon drum liners and does a really nice overnight shelter with those so there's a lot of things you can do with this i needed it because i can't film out here when it's raining i only have one camera and i don't want that one to get ruined so i'm making these so that i can string up a tarp and have that camera under a tarp while i'm out here slogging around in the rain at least you guys get to stay dry Hey guys, thanks for stopping out here today. I really appreciate you joining me. We're making a tripod. There are awesome, awesome pieces of equipment that you can use all over the place in your camp. So do me a favor, down in the comments below, uh, let me know if you guys build yours a little bit differently, different knots, different ways of doing it. Let me know if, um, if you have built furniture from a tripod. Let me know if there's anything that uh, is strange and unusual that you do with a tripod. And uh, guys, until next week, I'm going to get on out of here. But before I go, do me a favor. Go down there and click on that uh, comment button. Leave a couple comments. Leave some likes. Leave some shares. Hit all those buttons down there. Light this thing up. Make YouTube go crazy. I appreciate you guys being here. I enjoy making these videos for you. I enjoy coming out here and being outside. And I hope that what I'm doing inspires you to get out here as well and have some fun. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here to have fun and we're here to learn. So until next week, guys, get out of the inside and into the outside. Take care. The very first teepee made out of teepee. That's got to be in the record book somewhere right there, folks. The teepee teepee. <laughs>